Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Today I wanted to talk to you about the simple truth of OCD recovery. And that simple truth is, if you do the recovery work, no matter how slow you go, you will recover. If you don't do the recovery work, you will not recover. That is the simple truth of OCD recovery. If you hear people online, you know, complaining that they're not seeing any progress, they're either maybe going very slow or they're not doing anything, you know? And a lot of people are really trying, but they're just going slow, you know? And if that's the case with you where you feel like you're pushing, but, you know, there's not not a lot happening, then chances are you're, you're pushing a lot, but you're also letting in a lot. So in that sense, you're kind of stuck between the two. So just up the level of the uh, of the exposure and response um, times, you know. So if we count throughout the day, how many times you are paying attention to the thought versus how many times you're disregarding the thought, up the level of times you're disregarding the thought, even if you have to do on purpose exposures to make that happen, but just up that level, you know. It's you need to do this in practice. You can listen to all the OCD theory, all of, you know, different lectures on OCD recovery. But when it comes down to it is you're faced with exposure. What are you going to do? Are you going to pay attention to the thought or are you going to refuse reaction? The next exposure and next exposure all day long. And you need to react correctly in order to recover as much as possible, because otherwise you won't recover. And this is just being very frank so you understand that what you are doing, how you are reacting to the thoughts is extremely important. It's really the only thing that matters. It doesn't matter the theme. It doesn't matter how many times the thoughts are coming in. It doesn't matter the level of anxiety. All that matters is your reaction because your reaction drives the situation either uh, further or it reduces the situation if you refuse the reaction or at least reduce the reaction right? Delaying and those kinds of things. So even though you don't feel like you're in the driving seat, you actually are in the driving seat and you need to take ownership of your recovery, you know? And that doesn't mean blaming yourself because if you start to get into this negative thinking about yourself, that's also very bad because it's sending the signal that there's something wrong to the brain. We don't want to do that. We just want to say, okay, if say, for example, you have not had a very successful day, okay, I haven't done well today. What caused it? Then you objectively look at the situation okay well maybe I was stressed out maybe there was too much going on maybe the exposure level was too much right so you look at it okay what caused it and now what can I do about it and then you, you either do more exposures on this situation or you are um, de depending on the situation uh, you are working towards resolving um, the problem resolving the trigger you know, and the, the only way to resolve the trigger is to continuously face it until you no longer care about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find my videos helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. If you would like to do the recovery program, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. I'll see you tomorrow.